Guys, project tip Ralph here. I've not seen these for a few weeks. The um, BBCs have gotten back out again. Right, what I had problem with before, and yes, Chris, this is aimed towards you. I didn't know what this problem is. What's on the screen? I'll show you now. It says Acorn Moss. This is not a language. Now, it kind of worried me a little bit because I haven't got a like we always, I, I fumble my way through these and get get on with them, sort of thing. He did tell me, if you want to know what this is, give him a call. But I, I like doing these on my own. But thanks, Chris, for the um, the advice. Anyway, but I figured out that this is a case of these are the three things that have gone wrong with this. Right, I'm looking on the internet at the minute, and one, if you're loading a ROM f file system or ROM utility into the second, into the 3502 second processor that's, yeah, probably remedy on that one says according to website stop being silly yeah, number two, you've typed star fx 142 followed by the number 1 to 15, remedy uh, the ROMs, or type star ROMs and pick the correct number on the language you entered right, okay, so that means absolutely nothing much to me thirdly the CMOS battery in your master has run out and needs to be replaced. We replaced this, so the remedy is turn it off. So you press and hold the R key and turn it on. Now, on there it's got C, CMOS RAM reset, press break to continue. So you press break and it's come up with Acon MOS. Acorn ADFS. So you press. Actually, I don't think I do. That's done. Uh oh. Not a problem here. Yeah. Okay, that's not helped at all. So. Oh. Press break to continue. For some reason, you don't want to show me the keyboard running. Aha! There we go. This is not a language, it's back on again. So it's after something, but I don't know what. Let's break. Acorn Moss. I think that's actually... Actually, for some reason, I've just reset that, and the screen's now showing. I've just put load, comma, comma, and then I've tapped everything on the screen. And that's now showing loading, searching for something. So break out on that. Um, 10. Print. Oh, no, I can't do that one, can I? I can't go back, can I? No. Delete. Hi. Hope you can see this. Turn back command. Uh, okay, so that will work. I think the modes out. I think there's a certain things I need to do with the modes, but yeah, I need to work on this. Let's see if I can get something sorted out. Give me two minutes. Website, um, Lionel's off the web, whatever it is. It, it basically, what I've done is change the CMOS batteries in both of them, and I need to do this one, the second one as well. You get through the boot, and you, you have to reconfigure, and then you have to go through a full body configuration command board fork, data for delay, whatever else. And you have to go through all this lot on the command so it reads it. So once you turn it off, which is switched off now, blue screen, and then go back on again. It comes up in basic. So that's done. Change the mode as well. It's a little bit flickery on here, but 
look at that, it seems fine. All I have to do is try and find a different screen mode. And there was one I've found. So I can go CO, I don't know, star. CO dot mode. Oh, we're at three. And then you control and break. And then it goes into a different resolution completely. But a lot more flickery, doesn't like television at all. So, what I won't mind doing, I'm not going to, is put this on with the um, cub monitor up behind me and then see what mode it is on that. But at the minute, I'm just going to go star co dot mode 135 as it states, control break, and it comes back on a normal. <sighs> right, all I'll do now, get the other one out, and do the same with that one. So, first thing is, damn it, done. A little bit of playing, a little bit of fettling, and I think we're with the ear on these. So we're getting, well, we're getting down a few th things today, I think. So all I need to do on these, on this one specifically, is get, oh, it's the memory card reader. I need to get that configured and put on. I didn't realise these were so difficult to actually do. You have to really do all the programming, it's ridiculous. But it's fun to learn it. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hope there's a video out on this one, so I'm not sure how our luminators doing this. So, thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.